Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I would like to talk to you about some tips I have for writing. Um, I've recently finished two master classes, one by Jane Goodall on preservation and another one by Bob Woodward um, on uh, investigative journalism. And by the way, you can find them uh, online at master class. Um, so yesterday I was thinking about the stuff I've learned uh, while watching those classes um, and I've written down some notes uh, on tips how to conduct an interview but that, that also gave me uh, made me think about how we writers create characters basically so I put I put down uh, a list of questions basically. Um, so it goes like this: If you're a writer, how do you bring the character to life? And for me, it can be all sorts of things, from like uh, seeing various faces and falling in love with those features, for example. Um, with like listening to music um, so yeah that kind of like photo photographs and all the, all those things help me bring characters to life but oh, and plot not just like story to life not just like characters but specifically for characters uh, other than like photographs and I don't know seeing people on the street <laughs> and something captures your your imagination um, I thought about that making a list of questions that say you have a character in mind and you want to enrich his life basically <laughs> how, how do you do that and I think a very good way is to have a list of questions for that character who is going to be a living being in that story so let's call it a person, not a character, because I don't like the sound of that. So um, this list of, of questions I've got is not very long, and I'll give you a few examples. Um, I'll probably like make uh, like enrich my list in time, but like a few basic questions that make you think about a person's life. Uh, this also has to do with the project I'm doing. Sometimes I'm interviewing people. Um, and I ask them these questions so it totally applies to writing stories and writing characters because it's after all stories are about people so um, let me give you a few examples of questions I've got for, for people <laughs> and I'm sure you'll see why this would enrich the plot of the story because it will help you create this these people um, a main question is if you had only three minutes to tell me about your life what would you tell me so say you have this character Luke like my main character my main protagonist is called Luke Evans I haven't really thought about this specific questions when I wrote my debut novel but it's for future reference like if you had three minutes to tell me about your life what are the specific things to tell me about about you and what you've done in your life um, another one that I like to ask people because I think it makes them smile <laughs> is a memory that always makes you smile what is um, one memory that always makes you smile um, so that that brings you back to your past or I don't know your childhood all, all sorts of things it can because it, it opens your mind to all sorts of events that could have happened or like objects you could have received or like that person could have received uh, that reminds them of someone and makes them smile, it just makes them happy. Um, so yeah, I think that's a good question to ask. Um, another one is about technology. 
uh, depending on who you ask, they, they might have different answers and it's good to ask this question to your own characters because it makes you think about who they are and how they fit in the community and in the society they live in. Um, another question, are you happy? Depending on how you look at this question, it might be sad or it might be a joyful question. Uh, for example, I did an interview a few months ago with a, a gentleman, he was over 80, and I asked him this question and yeah, he was just, yeah, he was, he said he was happy. <laughs> um, or uh, something related, some questions related to this question is what would you change about your life or do you have any regrets? So, especially with the regrets, it's like if you're happy you don't really have regrets, I suppose. <laughs> but like, I don't know, it's, 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 I think it's a good question to ask, ask someone again because it makes you think about what they've lost or maybe they haven't lost but they just have uh, they held back onto something so they might have that regret um, and it might be a good point to start a story um, because it tells them who they are and you may have a character or like a person who's really happy in their life or they may seem to handle everything perfectly but if you think about posing this question like do you have any regrets it might open a whole pandora box <laughs> which obviously for writers is a great thing because it opens all this new world of events and stuff that can happen um, a question which is like on the spot is where would you like to be right now like in this very moment okay maybe you're now you're listening to this video obviously but let's say you just have someone sitting on a bed just where 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 would they like to be in that very moment think about that and again i think it opens possibilities. Um, another question is, tell me about your dreams, things you dream at night or day, some people are daydreaming. Um, so I'm, I'm here, I'm specifically thinking about dream, like dreams, like actual dreams, nightmares, not necessarily goals, but obviously you can ask this question. Um, but sometimes if you get answers like what kind of dreams someone has it makes you think what they fear or what they might achieve or aim to achieve so yes say if someone's dreaming that they're falling like in a void or some sort of darkness it may give you an idea of what that person is going through or yeah, all sorts, all sorts of things. Um, I think I've spoken about this, but again, it's related to that previous question, a memory that always makes you smile. Related to this is, why, what's your earliest memory? Um, again, you may have characters who have blocked, blocked out their past, or they might not remember it for certain reasons they've either had like a head injury or they've just purposely uh, blocked their memories like the particular memories from a period of their life um, maybe they've been in a car crash or something terrible happened to them and they just don't want to remember it and they're like mind just blocks it blocks it out uh, but it's it's good to investigate that if you think about the character, what's his earliest or her earliest memory? Um, again, it opens a whole whole world of possibilities about that character, and it can be very specific if you think about that exact memory. It helps you build up the character. Um, so yeah, 
the idea is that um, everyone has a story so what is your story what is your character story um, what do they have to say uh, about particular subjects like technologies uh, as I mentioned before um, as you can tell this video is not scripted so I just read a little bit of the questions some of the questions but yeah you get the idea I think um, obviously you can ask your own questions these are my own I suppose um, yeah you can make a whole list of specific questions like what kind of color of eyes do you normally fall in love with or I don't know do you like the sea or the mountains or do you like autumn or spring do you like snow do you like the sun sunny weather um, how many friends do you have how many best friends do you have how many real relationships have you had so if you have if you ask all these questions if you ask all the, your, your main character if you ask this question these questions um, I'm sure they will like I'm, I'm staying they but it's obviously you because you're creating these people but it makes it helps you put put yourself in their shoes and even if they're like imagined beings it just it uh, it makes you hold on to them and feel like they're not just imaginary people they will feel real because you've created all these memories these thoughts they have and beliefs um, they hold on to um, they hold on to so yeah that's my <laughs> these are some of my thoughts um, I hope they'll be helpful to some of you um, again apologies as if this video hasn't been very organized and not very well structured but yeah I just wanted to uh, bring you something to watch and hopefully it's been helpful and it's going to be helpful so thank you for watching um, keep an eye on the channel there's lots of changes taking place in my life at the moment so um, yeah <laughs> um, take care of yourselves as always um, well yeah take care of yourselves that's my wish as always um, and keep on writing reading stories are amazing they help self save lives um, so yeah spread spread that awesomeness into the world and help create more uh, awesome characters more awesome um, yeah stories <laughs> um, bye have a lovely afternoon